Okay, so I'm now in Stoke Bishop, which is our example of a wealthy area, um, and it is very, very different to Philwood. Here, um, I'm just off Millionaire's Row, the housing quality is much, much higher, you've got your own gardens, your own space around here, and the houses themselves are generally much older, so they were built in sort of the Victorian time, they've all been done up, um, and they've got the space in the gardens, and people have really sort of invested in the area. You can see it's a lot greener, um, a lot cleaner uh, as well, um, and We've seen that affluence and wealth is much higher, only about 3% unemployment in this uh, area, which means that most people have a large amount of income, the car ownership is the highest in the city, and they're using that, um, that wealth also to invest in the area and improve the area too. Education um, is uh, getting some better results here, about 95% of people who do their um, GCSEs here get a pass, um, which is very different to Philwood, and again in contrast, the level of crime is much lower, only about 300 crimes are recorded here um, per year as opposed to in Philwood where it's 1,300 crimes and what that crime is is antisocial behaviour as opposed to Philwood where it's um, violent crime is the highest proportion so it's a very very contrasting and different area uh, and you can see sort of the green space the, um, the higher quality of life in terms of the housing and safety and uh, education and in truth even the healthcare uh, people generally seem to live a little bit longer in this region too um, again that could be a function of the environment being cleaner and nicer or it could be that the people are just wealthier um, the difficulty is is how do you turn a place like Philwood into a place like this when you don't have necessarily the space or the income um, in the area to do that